If you click on this video, you probably wonder, wait, is there actually surfing in China or is this a Chinese propaganda? in China, as far as I can remember, our family does not like the ocean, <laughs> just like most of the Chinese people. It's funny, even though we're surrounded by the ocean, somehow we're afraid of it. Like the majority of Chinese families, the best thing they believe they can do for a girl is to raise her in the city and send her to a Western world if they can afford it. Twelve years later, instead of becoming a doctor my family wished I would become, I started surfing. <laughs> I found my love for the ocean and decided to be a surf bum. After living in the Western world for 12 years, I decided to go back to where everything started. First stop, Huizhou. This is actually where I'm from. <laughs> Guangzhou, which is the capital city of Guangdong, and the closest city to surf is Huizhou. China, we actually don't pump our own gas. Usually someone will help you. The whole tank is 395 yuan, which is about $55. You can see this lady is a bit mad because we are supposed to leave at 7 to avoid traffic. But I woke up at 7. <laughs> so we have to go at 7 a.m. to beat the traffic. But right now we are technically in traffic because I was kind of slow. Because this car literally just cut right through. People will keep cutting you if you don't drive super close to each other. I was little, whenever we go to a tunnel like this, I get so excited because I just feel like I see the heaven when I get out of it. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is actually a huge milestone between me and my mom. The fact she's willing to drive me three hours to a surf spot because she used to hate me surfing. There was a time she felt extremely embarrassed on me because my love towards surfing and my changing lifestyle. I'm very grateful on this trip. She's starting to accept me. So we're almost there. I'm a little bit nervous because on the way here, we only see flat ocean. So like we'll see if there's waves, finger cross. <laughs> I don't see waves. Oh, wait, I see waves. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my God, there is waves. This is so sick. I never thought I can surf in China before, but I guess I can. Now let's see if we can run a surfboard. This is the break and this is a surf shop. It is quite interesting here that the first thing the girl asked me was, Nihao. Can I see footage of you surfing to prove that you actually surf? Oh, okay, I have, I have Douyin. Turned out, it's not common for a surf shop to rent out hardboard. Usually, they only have soft top rental, and people who own hard top are people who already purchased the board. She suggested me to go to a store that's nearby and they might have a hard top for me. She showed me a group chat where there's camera for all the major surf spots in China. So now let's rent the board and let's go. Okay. <laughs> First, it's completely flat right now, but in about two hours, 
there might be some tiny nuggets. We will go eat first. So super cool, they have QR code here, so it's going to be really fast. We're just going to order through our phone. This is what a common Cantonese restaurant looks like. I grew up in Canton. This is usually what food we get when we we're younger. And if you've been to Hong Kong, it's very similar, especially with lemon tea. It's a staple back then. warm enough to serve with a bikinis but it get cold when there's no more sun so technically you can trunk it even in December that's crazy right it's similar to Newport Beach so it's right in different spot and it's beach bottom so technically you don't really need to fight for waves but it is small so there's not much power you definitely need a longboard however they say that when the swells here it actually get a little bit bigger. I wish I have a board that's like a nose rider and that can give you a better feedback. I rented a board from them, so it's kind of like wobbly. I can't really sit on it. Oh, there's a puppy here. Hello. I've been searching for belonging my whole life, especially after I found my love toward the ocean. I felt quite lonely. I am a minority in the surf world in America, where a majority of the surfers or in the media, they don't look like me. I've been traveling around the world since 2018, and often I'm the only Chinese girl that's in the lineup. But just being here, hearing my own language in the water, it's like a crazy experience. Even though I'm not from the surf town, I feel like somehow I belong here. I am the majority the first time. So yeah, I cried a lot on this trip. I don't know how to describe this feeling. Wow, is this what home feels like? view here is insane. I mean even though there's not much sun but just imagine if there's sun and the sunset will be prettier. Are we, are we allowed to come here? I think someone's getting married. <laughs> This looks so good. I'm so freaking full right now. Let's keep going. Good morning, sleepyhead. It is in the morning now. We are actually in South of China, so we are famous for dim sum, so I'm going to show you what is it like. It's flat here, let's go somewhere else. Bye bye beautiful place, I'll miss you. If you have noticed, this town feels like a ghost town though. It feels like it used to be really popping, like they built so many buildings for tourists and also so many restaurants. You can see all the sitting in the restaurant, but they all empty. Like every restaurant we go to, either we are the only person in the restaurant or there's only a few other people. It felt like we're intruding something kind of. But anyway, the food is amazing. Mama, no, I'm 
哦哦，妈妈老人家以为我们是姐妹。Even though after driving three hours, my mom still doesn't want to watch me surfing because the weather is just too cold for her. It's still a huge milestone for us. She's starting to accept me in a way that I could never imagine. But now, let's search for bigger waves.